Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. We're on December 11th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun as we have five sunspot regions that are earth facing and as well, big plasma filament. Bottom left hand corner, you'll see that swirling around like a large plasma tornado. Another one stretching from the surface on the top right-hand side here with the incoming imagery. This thing is massive and about to let loose. Stay tuned. We'll give you full imagery here because it stops right there in process. Looking at the last 24 hours outgoing active sunspot region here. 4294 releasing yet another M-class solar flare. It's been about a dozen M-class solar flares since it came for the earth facing party. Another close-up view here of this large plasma filament, most likely interacting with a sunspot region on the other side of the sun. Just amazing to see. So grateful that you are here. Thank you for being a part of this community grateful for these images. Thank you to all the people who put this together. Looking at 195 angstroms, big darkened arced coronal hole region. I don't think I've seen a coronal hole kind of shaped like this before. This is quite a peculiar time to be observing our sun. Solar cycle 25, it is a maximum. We have reached the peak. We, are, we, we will be coming down and towards the minimum around 2030. This is why daily events worldwide is here, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Quick look here at sunspot regions that are earth facing right now. Nothing like what we've seen over the past couple weeks. We saw some doozies come through. Space weather conditions, we are under level two moderate geomagnetic storm impacts. And that is visible on the KP index. Solar winds coming in at 412 kilometers per second. There's all the M flares that we've seen the last two days. Solar X-ray flux is low. Geomagnetic activity. We did hop up to a KP6 last night. And we're going to do that again tonight. As we are expecting the coronal hole wind stream. Looking at the space weather models here. You can see we're about to be impacted overnight into throughout the day of the 12th. This is the space weather model. Little green circle on the right hand side is Earth. And of course, yellow circle in the center, the sun firing its cosmic energies and its solar wind at us constantly. Our average solar wind speed is about 300 kilometers per second. I think we might see about seven or 800 kilometers per second tonight with this coronal hole wind stream. It looks pretty dynamic. There's a look at Alaska 3 cosmic energies leaving our sun the last 48 hours. Bunch of time misstitched there with Venus coming into view. And here is something I like to share as well. This is our magnetic field of the sun as we just had this large earth facing coronal hole and we've got another one coming into view. We saw multiple strong solar flares since the December 1st, and this is showing our magnetic field since then. I showed it getting a little wonking and snapping towards each other, the north and south magnetic field looked like it was pulling and snapping towards each other. Looks like it's going to do it again here. Kind of looks like a slinky. When you look at these magnetic field lines, these sunspot regions, the one particularly 4294 had 29 sunspots in it. So the magnetic fields are pretty intense and very dynamic. All right, let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. USGS is reporting 180. That is really low. But let's have a look now. 5.1 Fiji, that's the deepest last 24 hours. 570 kilometer depth. As well, notable deep earthquake, Papua New Guinea. Earthquakes continuing in Japan, multiple aftershocks through the region, and as well, notable earthquakes here in uh, upper western China, and as well, northeastern China. 
west of Thailand into, into Burma, central China, don't normally report earthquakes through these regions. We must have seen quite a slip off the coast of Japan with that big 7.6 earthquake. 4.4 earthquake there, just north of Svalbard. And as well, the earthquakes continue at the Alaska-Yukon border. Yakutat, earthquakes continue there. Largest being a 3.7 throughout the day today. Or sorry, 3.9. And as well, notable earthquake here, 4.2. Uh, northward, Ambler, northeastern, or sorry, northwestern Alaska, looking across the United States, California on watch right now as we're going through a quiet lull, maybe a calm before the seismic storm watching through California. This is the only region swarming as well. Notable 5.5 there, Columbia. Pretty quiet South American plate the last 24 hours. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers, movers around the world. Largest being the 7.6 that hit Japan. And as well, we saw the 7.0 that hit the Yukon border. We saw very deep earthquakes beforehand. 630 kilometer depth. And that was just before some pretty big earthquakes and as well warnings here from daily events worldwide and thank you so much for pressing pressing play today please don't forget to give a thumbs up get in the comment section share with a friend let us know where you're watching from if you live in an earthquake prone zone just have a plan and be ready that's what this channel is all about hashtag no fear here just aware and prepared now let's have a look at the air quality forecast not very good right now with the big Kilauea eruption, SO2 and ash particulates right across the northern hemisphere right now. We are literally blanketed by the blood of the earth with Kilauea, large 38th eruption since last December. Notable plumes here coming out of uh, eastern and northern Africa, as well Japan and the central um, Marianas Island region, Guam. Other than that, no new major eruptions to report across South America, but there is quite a bit of SO2 pumping out of Central America right now. Let's have a look at world weather here as we've got some major systems now that will be affecting the North Atlantic and into Europe and most of Canada this week. Watch for the polar vortex to be bringing in some very extreme cold temperatures. And then, will there be a white Christmas? Well, there will be a white Christmas for most of the eastern parts of North America. As in the long-range forecast, there is a system developing. But look at all these monster lows that are coming through. And look at all that white stuff that is starting to funnel through from the north and right across Canada. You're going to see some accumulations this week, upwards of 25 centimeters. And then watch for it to start accumulating in the long range west coast as we get some strong systems coming through the Pacific. And there's our big Christmas Day winter storm for all of the Great Lakes and eastern Canada and northeastern United States. Overlooking Australia and Southeast Asia, Africa, Big typhoon-looking storm whipping up into North Korea, but nothing major to report. Multiple days of rain here for Australia. Daily evaporation rains heading into spring there. And possible cyclone developing for Madagascar, eastern coast of Africa. Leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean as we've got some strong lows whipping up through the central Pacific just grazing the Hawaiian Islands. Watch for the long-range atmospheric river of moisture to continue all across the West Coast. So, flood watch is still in effect and are being warned across British Columbia, Washington, and Oregon right now. And this will continue throughout the next couple weeks right down into California. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Give a thumbs up. Stay safe and healthy out there. Aware and prepared.